Hi everyone, this is Lu here. Today I'll be sharing with you a very interesting topic about life saving rescue. Are you ready? Let's go! A little detail about life saving and what is so important about it is that it's a skill that you might use to rescue your loved ones. It can bridge the gap between an incident being discovered and also the arrival of the emergency services. The effect of an early intervention during a rescue can make a crucial difference between life and death, especially when it comes to water-related activities. Knowing skills such as CPR, basic first aid knowledge, and also the correct rescue techniques to rescue a drowning person. So today we'll be going through the rescue techniques, but here are some of the things that you should know before attempting to perform it. 1. Method of rescue should be selected and adapted to suit the rescue swimming ability, the type of drowning victim, access of rescue equipment, and also the risk involved for the rescuer. Number 2. The drowning victims are unable to call for help and they drown quietly and quickly. Number 3. Non-swimming rescue should be the first method attempted instead of a swimming rescue. Adding on, we should also know the different type of drowning victim so that we are able to perform the correct rescue techniques. Different kinds of drowning victims are... Conscious non-swimmer Conscious weak swimmer Conscious injured swimmer Unconscious swimmer So here's a sequence to follow when attempting to perform a rescue Talk rescue If the victim is calm enough to listen to instruction, you can use the talk rescue Reach rescue Go on to a stick in front of the victim to allow them to grab onto it, then pull them to safety <gasps> Rescue. If the victim is further away from the deck, use the throw rescue to assist them back to safety. Weight rescue. If the victim is too far away from the deck, you can use the weight rescue. Use a stick to measure the depth of the water before entering. Probe the ground as you walk to see if it's getting deeper. As you get closer to the victim, bring the stick to them and slowly and carefully pull them to safety. Row Rescue If the victim is too far away from the shore, you can use the Row Rescue. Use the paddle to bring the victim closer towards the boat. Swim with Rescue Aid When using this method, remember to always have eyes on the victim. As you swim closer, remember to perform the defensive stance so that the victim will not grab onto you. Call out to the victim and pass them the float. Once they grab onto the float, guide them back to safety. Toe Rescue For non-contact toe rescue, once the victim is holding on to the float, you will be holding on to the float and towing them to safety. For contact toe rescue, you will be holding on to the victim and towing them to safety. Today, our main focus will be on the throw rescue. If the victim is 5 to 8 meters away from safety and you have any floating items on hand, such as the kickboard, the ring boy, or a rope, so that we can guide or slowly and carefully pull the victim to safety. So, here's a scenario of how we can use the rope to rescue a drowning victim. Throw the rope from the bottom to the front so that you are able to throw the rope in a straight direction. Make sure that the rope lands in front of the victim so that they can see it. Remember to tell the victim to hold on to the rope before pulling them back to safety. For the swimmers that are struggling for air because of injury, cramp or feeling tired, do remember to keep calm and float on your back. This way, you will regain control of your breathing and able to call or signal for help. a lot of information to take in. I do hope that this short video provides you with the do's and don'ts on how to rescue a drowning victim. Remember to be on guard and stay safe. Until next time, bye bye!